So, Medal of Honor Warfighter finally arrived at our doorsteps. What's going on, the guys? Krahu here, and welcome to my first impressions video of the game. Now, this isn't a full review. Full review will come, uh, I guess, sometime next week when my computer gets here. Um, and my PC has been shipped to me already, so just a couple of more days. Uh, but before we move on, I want to give a huge thank you to my friend Will. Uh, he is the one that made that that created that intro for me and Mr. Lalo regarding Nazi zombies. So thank you very much man. I appreciate it highly. And if you guys haven't seen that video, uh, link is right there in the description. Uh, so that was pretty that was pretty awesome uh, on his part for doing that for me. Um, but let's move on to the game. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let's try to go for 1000 likes because Warfighter is freaking awesome. At least in my opinion. You know, a lot of people will have different opinions, and that's fine, that's fine, we're all entitled, of course, to an opinion. Uh, but uh, I played a whole bunch of Medal of Honor Warfighter before it came out, and, you know, the, the excitement never died down. I saw many issues, I saw many bugs, many flaws, but it's just Medal of Honor, man. That's I was just waiting for this game for so long that the excitement cannot die down for me. Um, first, let's move on to the... I guess to the negatives of what I've seen so far and then let's move on to the positives now a few negatives that I've ran into were pretty bad audio issues I mean sometimes the game goes completely silent for me and I can't even hear my gun sometimes I hear the music you know, like people screaming but I can't hear my gun sometimes I just hear my gun and I hear nothing else no grenade sounds so audio issues I believe are synonymous with you know frostbite 2 engine which is uh, which is kind of you know odd, but whatever. Maybe Danger Close can do something about it. And the second major issue is falling out of the map, and it happened to me in this game. Hopefully that's going to get addressed. Um, you guys will see where I switch to my Spec Ops class. I immediately I immediately fall off the map, and it happened to me at least 15 times in two games prior to this one. Um, this is my third gameplay actually playing, so. <laughs> what ended up happening is uh, I, I joined a you know game of sector control and it immediately immediately after spawning threw me off the map and that wasn't you know it wasn't fun and then it happened a whole bunch more times later during the game so I just had to quit uh, find something else you know I guess a team deathmatch and deliver you guys gameplay from this um, campers are there but you know it's to be expected from the first day of the release you can't get rid of campers every freaking game has campers. So that's okay, I guess people are just adjusting uh, to the brand new setting. I know that Battlefield 3 players are going to have a lot, uh, you know, an easier time since they come from a Frostbite 2 engine. Um, Medal of Honor Warfighter has a very comfortable feel, at least to me, the controls do not seem, you know, don't seem off, I can aim just fine. And uh, it's just all around a, a good, good game. Uh, if the issues that arise will be addressed, we're looking at, uh, you know, a pretty pretty damn solid title I have to say uh, so maps are really good I've played I already played on I, I guess most of the maps uh, so it's easily it's easy to get lost in the beginning obviously when you come from something like Call of Duty or Battlefield this is a completely different environment sure it's close quarters like Call of Duty but there's also team aspect of the game like Battlefield and you have to you know encompass both of them so you know it's hard to adjust in the beginning but don't worry guys this is the this is the first day of the release I'm sure that people will will adjust and that danger close will you know patch anything that needs patching now I also enjoy the guns I mean there's a whole lot more stuff that we can unlock uh, you know there's everything that we can unlock uh, unlike the beta which offered only two guns per class uh, we have a whole bunch more attachments that we can go through, we have a whole bunch more maps, we have a whole bunch more equipment, uh, so it's it's really awesome and you can expect a lot of videos from me. And I have to say man, I'm pretty sure that Hotspot is, gonna, is going to be my favorite game mode in the game. I gotta say it man. So you guys can expect like combat mission gameplay and Hotspot gameplay sometime next week. Uh, this week I'm gonna stick to Team Deathmatch and maybe Sector Control. I didn't really enjoy Sector Control because it was such a clusterfuck, it was... Yeah, I didn't have a good time on Sector Control, but Team Deathmatch and Hotspot are the way to go for me, so maybe that's what I'm gonna stick to. Uh, Hotspot just seems like the perfect game mode for this game. 
Um, but this week, uh, unfortunately, I'm going to be only releasing uh, Team Deathmatch because whenever I do record Hotspot, I want to upload the entire uh, the entire game, and I cannot do this with uh, with this computer. And I don't want to give you guys like individual points, you know, to be continued uh, from a random game of Hotspot. So my computer is on the way. It actually shipped out, I believe, yesterday or is going to ship out today. So that's pretty awesome. So if you guys have any issues with the game, if you want to leave your opinion about the game, please post it in the comment section below. I would appreciate that very much. And I'm pretty sure that the developers would appreciate that very much as well. Be sure to leave a, leave a thumbs up. And um, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoy the game. Um, plenty more videos to come, that's for sure. And yeah, I will see you Sexy Legends next time. Take care.